Hello, welcome back to the channel Tarot Yogi. I'm Vineet and today we have a December collective reading. What can you expect in December? But before we get into the reading, I want to quickly announce that I will be teaching a tarot course in December. So if you are interested in learning tarot from me, you can send me an email or DM me on Instagram. My details are given below. And if you are interested in getting a personal reading from me, you can again send me an email or reach out on Instagram. And having said all that, let's jump into the reading now on your December predictions. Okay, collective. So we have King of Pentacles, we have Five of Cups, Four of Swords, the Hermit, Magician, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, and we have Six of Pentacles. There might be some disappointments in December around money, especially we have Five of Cups there. So maybe You were expecting a certain amount, but maybe it did not come. But yet, I I see, I see, still see money coming to you. Maybe it just won't come to you in the way that you thought it would. Because we do have King of Pentacles next to the Five of Cups. So either, either you'll get some money through a loved one, or your romantic partner, or just something. I, I do think money will come to you after this disappointment of maybe not being able to earn a certain amount that month. In December especially. So I think the message over here is to not feel down if you're not able to maybe hit your mark. Know that there will be something better for you or if there's something you want it will be replaced with something better. That's the message over here. I would say December is maybe not the time for you to invest money into things. Maybe you need to be a little more prudent about your expenditure in December as well. But I, I, I see a lot of y'all taking some downtime for your health. I do think a lot of y'all have been just working and burning yourself out. So I think you will finally give yourself a bit of a break, right? Like maybe around Christmas or so. But I just see you relaxing, doing nothing, sleeping, watching your favorite show, eating, and, and just having a cozy time even by yourself over here. And I, I do think that is really, really required for you in the month of December. You're still going to be working. But I, I think a lot of your work will again become internal in, in December. We do have the hermit. So maybe you're not going to want to be around a lot of people. Maybe you would like to maybe work from home or, or work online or something like that. So you're going to be naturally in your introverted energy in the month of December. Or even if you feel you have to maybe go out, you're not going to really enjoy things, right? You're going to be more, more focused on your inner world in, in December over here. So honestly, don't don't make a lot of plans for December. Keep keep your time free so you can relax and reconnect with yourself. And like I like I said, you know, as as a result, you will be in your magician energy. You will you will firstly feel balanced within yourself, within all the elements. You will, you know, you will have eaten well, gotten enough good sleep. You know, you'll be well rested, and you will you will know exactly what do you want to do next and what do you want to create next. What do you want your next? project to be right and and to even like manifest that successfully it's it's a good thing we have the magician over here again I, I think you're going to be more focused on on the process of creation you're going to be more more focused on the very process of whatever you're trying to make or create or do over here you're going to be very curious and intrigued by it and it's almost like you'll have a relationship with whatever you're trying to do or achieve over here. And it's going to be a very loving, symbiotic relationship. Because it will make everything just nicer in your life as a result. I do think that. Maybe there's a lot of questions about, you know, you're not feeling good enough to even give what you have to give over here but you are good enough. Otherwise, you would not be at this position that you will be in December. So if you're being called to give, even if you feel you don't have a lot or you don't exactly know enough, trust me, just give. You'll be surprised by even how much more you will be able to give and also gain, you know, as, as a result, right? I think the main, the main 
message in December is to realize that nothing has ever been lost. You can always put yourself back together better than before. And it's okay to give yourself some downtime. I, I think that is also very, very important over here. And really reconnecting with your Page of Cups energy, right? Re reconnecting to that artistic, poetic side of you, that 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 side of you that has this childlike wonder, right? That that listens to every every whisper of your intuition that your mind cannot comprehend, right? So get out of this mental energy, more into this feeling and being energy. I think December is the time for you to be and to feel. I think that's the best way I can say it. Because you don't have a lot of swords and the only sword we cards we have is four and eight. So don't don't oscillate between four of swords and eight of swords. Be in your four of swords energy. Worst is over. And right now you have to put your swords down. Now is the time for you to rest. You don't have to go to battle right now of any kind within yourself or outside yourself. Right? So December is going to be a nice pause. It's going to be like a sigh of relief. It will also help you catch up with yourself, right? I, I don't think you have, even if you have been spending a lot of time by yourself, I don't think you have been listening to yourself. So I, I do think a lot of that listening will happen in December. So it's, it's good. So again, don't, don't get yourself overly upset about things that are not working. Maybe if you made certain plans and they're not coming to fruition, maybe they'll come into fruition, maybe at a better time for you. Or maybe there's something better. Right? So you need to understand that and not, not bring yourself down e even if certain things are not going your way. Right? How do, how do we maintain a, a piece of serenity and, and, and calm and, and inner happiness, right? Even, even in uncertain times, right? Even in times of disappointment and a lot of self-doubt, right? But you will be able to move through this very easily. You'll, you'll be able to just glide, right? So control your mind in December. I think that's the main message. Shuffle some Arakura. Anything I missed. Okay, collective, we have the Loon card and we have the personal choice. So, and the Loon is intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Isn't this exactly what I've been trying to say this whole reading? Right? Take that time out for yourself. Connect to your childlike wonder. Connect to your intuition. Right? Connect to the whispers in your heart that, you know, always show you the right way. Go inwards. Go deep. Right? And, and what do loons do? They just glide on the water. Right? So you're just gliding on your unconscious and your subconscious and you can take a dip and, and clearly see that you haven't been able to maybe clearly see before. Right? And we, we got the personal choice card and I do think that is more of a reflection about, you know, what do you want to be now? Who would you like to be? And what would that feel like? And realizing you have the power to make it happen, right, magician? So, Take, take full charge of, of the responsibility of being the magician over here, right? Yeah. Beautiful reading. Any other messages? Yeah, that's all I have for my collective. Again, it's a general reading. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out and I will see you guys in the next video.